Hello, hello everybody. Hi, my name is Miss Alex and I work for the St. John's County Public Library System. Thank you so much for joining me for another virtual story time. We are recording this live. Hello. So we'll just wait the next couple of minutes for all of our friends to join us. Hi friends. Hello, hello. Please chime in and say hello down below in the comments. I would love to be able to wave to you and say your name. Hello, hello. Good morning, everyone. Hi. I'm so excited to sing and read with you today. I have some cool books picked out. I have some neat songs. Ooh, I can't wait to begin. Hello, everybody. Hello. It is a beautiful day here in sunny St. Augustine. <gasps> ah, the weather is perfect. The sun is out. I hear the birds chirping. Do you hear them too? Hello, everybody. Hello. Yay. We're going to go ahead and get started in just one moment. Just going to make sure everything is working properly. Wonderful. Okay, let's go ahead and sing. Hello, good morning. I see more people hopping on. Hello, hello. My name is Miss Alex. I work for the St. John's County Public Library System and it is time to start story time. Let's go ahead and sing our Hello Friends song. We're going to wave our hands just like this to say hello. Then we're going to use two fingers and have them hug for friends. Then point to our wrist for time. Point to our mouth for say. And then wave again. Hello. Here we go. Hello friends. Hello friends. Hello friends. It's time to say hello. Hello, hello everybody. And thank you so much for joining me for story time today. Oh, I'm looking up and it is lovely. There's a bright blue sky. I see the sun shining down. We should sing some Mr. Sun. Can you put your hands up like this? Perfect. Okay, here we go. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind a tree. Oh, these little children are asking you to please come out so we can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Thank you for singing Mr. Sun with me. That's one of my favorites. Let's see. Do you have your glasses with you? You do. Hello. Okay, let's put those down. Can you clap your hands together to make a book? Very good. We're going to open up that book very slowly. And close the book. Excellent job. Let's see what is hanging out inside our book today. Are you ready? It's always something different. I'm always surprised what is inside my book. So let's see. Here we go. One, two, three. What could be inside our book that goes do you have any ideas? Go ahead and put them in the comments below if you have an idea as to what could be inside our book today. Oh, I think you got it. Let's see. with this little bee. Bees are precious. They're very, very important, especially for the food that we grow and eat, for all the flowers outside. We need bees. So I'm going to very carefully shut my book now. 
There we go. Maybe we'll read some books about bees today. What do you think? Okay, here we go. These are my glasses, this is my book. I put on my glasses and open up the book. Now I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I put down my glasses and look, close up the book once more. These are my glasses, this is my book. I put on my glasses and open up the book. Now I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I put down my glasses and look, close up the book. Excellent job! Thanks so much for doing that one with me. Now, speaking of our books, oh, hello, friends. We have Elise and Avid hopping on. Hello! Speaking of books, the book we're going to read today is called Beehive. Ooh. And I see one, two bees on the cover of Beehive. This book is written and illustrated by Jory Hurley, and it's published by Simon & Schuster. Thank you, Simon & Schuster, for letting us read awesome books like this in our story time. So, beehive. Here we go. Buzz. Can you make that buzzing sound at home, too? Buzz. You use your teeth. You sound just like a bee! Great job! So our little bee is going buzzing through all those beautiful purple and pink flowers. I wonder where he's going. Bzzz. <gasps> Swarm. That means there's a big group of bees traveling and buzzing together. Bzzz. Do you think that makes a louder buzz? I think so. If we have a whole bunch of bees. And look, the flowers have gotten bigger. They're closer to them now. Bzzz. Oh, this word says explore. Whoa. Do you see the bees? They're exploring all of those flowers. I wonder what they're looking for. Do you know? <gasps> find. What did they find? like they're headed for that big hole in the tree. What do you think they're going to do with the hole in the tree? Hmm, I wonder. Build. They're building something. What are they building? boxes in there? <gasps> They're building a hive! Those are the honeycombs. <gasps> Look, this says lay. Lay. <gasps> Look, all those little tiny shapes. Those are eggs. The queen bee is laying all of those eggs in each little portion. Whoa! That's a lot of eggs. What do you think they're going to turn into? Oh. This word says feed. They have to feed the eggs as they turn into larvae. Whoa, all of the worker bees feed all of these little babies. And then Grown. Look. 
Do you see those fully grown bees coming out of their little pods? They're not babies anymore. They're big bees. They're all grown up and they're coming out. Wow. And the hive has gotten really big. Oh my goodness. Now it's time to fly. Look, they're flying and buzzing around all of those beautiful flowers. And they're picking up something. Let me see. Can you see right there? There are little dots on all of those bees. That's pollen. Little bits of pollen that they're picking up from all of those flowers get stuck to the bees. And then, see, they're collecting all those little bits of pollen and the nectar that they need from each of those flowers. Where are they gonna go with it? <gasps> this is a big word. It says pollinate. Pollinate. And that means the bees are taking those itty bits of pollen and they're spreading them around to all of the flowers. That's really important to keep everything growing. Like I said, bees have a very important job. Meanwhile, back at the hive, <gasps> uh oh. What's that? That's not a bee. Gunk. Uh oh. And it looks like he's trying to get into there. This word here says guard. The bees have to guard their hive from skunks and other animals that want to get in there. How do they guard their hive? Oh! Sting! Ouch! Oh! They sting the skunk. Oh my. That's one reason why we have to be really careful around bees. We don't want to get stung. We also don't want to hurt them. So if you see a bee, it's good to just stay away. Ouch. <gasps> Keep. Something changed here. Can you spot it? What changed in this picture? Oh. The leaves on the tree. What color are they now? Yeah, they're all orange and red. Time's passing by and it's fall now. They have to keep all that nectar that they're turning into honey for the winter. <gasps> See? Honey, mmm. Have you ever had honey before? Mm. It is delicious and drippy and goopy. The bees make it out of that nectar that they get from flowers. <gasps> and that is the end of Beehive. I hope you enjoyed the story, Beehive, about the life cycle of bees. I thought it was really cool. We have lots of other books at the library too if you want to learn more about bees. This one jumped out at me. Oh, bees! A honeyed history. It's a really big book. Whoa! But it's got some really amazing illustrations to teach you all about bees. Whoa! How cool is that? Check out these and all of our other books about bees in our libraries, or you can even look online at our website, sjcpls.org, to check out our catalog. Okay, I'm gonna teach you a little finger play about bees. Can you do it with me? Awesome! Okay, so we're gonna take our hand, and we're gonna shut it up tight. This is going to be our beehive. 
Are you ready? Here we go. This is a beehive. But where are all the bees? Where are they? <gasps> They're hidden inside where nobody sees. <gasps> the bees are coming out. Can you count with me? One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Let's try that one more time together, okay? Here we go. Whoop. You ready? This is our beehive. But where are all the bees? <gasps> They're hidden inside where nobody sees. Ooh. Shh. The bees are coming out. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Yay! Thanks so much for doing that one with me. Thank you. You were really, really great today. Before it's time for us to say goodbye, I wanted to show you a little craft that I did. Remember we were learning about the hive and the honeycombs? Let's make one at home. All you need is a piece of paper and some kind of paper roll. You can use a toilet paper roll or a paper towel roll. And I just bent mine a little bit to make it look like a hexagon. What's a hexagon? Mm, it's a shape that has one, two, three, four, five, six sides. That's the shape of each little piece of the honeycomb. So I'm going to use some yellow paint and all you need to do is stamp onto your paper to make your hive. Plus, we can't forget to add some little bees. You can draw on your bees or cut out a picture of a bee like I did and glue them right on to decorate. What do you think? Can you make your very own hive at home? I can't wait to see your creations. If you do this at home, please share it with us. You can tag us on Facebook or Instagram or just shoot us a message with your pictures. We'd love to see what you're making at home. Okay, it's time for us to say goodbye. Can you wave goodbye like this? Good, and we're gonna do our friends in time to say goodbye. Here we go. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say <clears throat> goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Don't forget, I love you, I miss you, and I can't wait to see you again.